children close your eyes for a moment and think about the importance of nature in our lives first thing that will strike your mind will be the plants the most valuable gift of the nature for us plants are of different types herbs shrubs trees and climbers and all these types have different shape size and color all these type of plants are helpful to us in some way or the other plants are important to us as they provide us with food clothing shelter medicines even the air we breathe they also enhance the beauty of the environment and are useful for all living creatures the most common and important way by which plants help us is to provide oxygen second important role of plants in our life is that they form a part of our diet we consume different parts of different plants like leaves stem root flower or even seeds hello students i welcome you all to today's lesson about our most important companion on this earth that is the plants bachcho ki tusi kade sochya hai ki kisi paude de anga da us de vikas vich ki role hai aao paude de ik mahatvapurn ang roots paav ਜੜਾ ਤੇ ਵਿਚਾਰ ਕਰੀਏ ਰੂਟਸ ਪੌਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਮਿੱਟੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਕੜ ਕੇ ਰੱਖਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਅਤੇ ਪੌਦੇ ਦੇ ਵਿਕਾਸ ਲਈ ਜ਼ਮੀਨ ਚੋਂ ਪਾਣੀ ਅਤੇ ਮਿਨਰਲਸ ਨੂੰ ਸੋਖਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਪਰ ਕੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਇਨਾ ਬੇਸਿਕ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਦੇ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਇਹ ਰੂਟਸ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਮੋਡੀਫਾਈ ਕਰਕੇ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਰ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਵੀ ਪਰਫਾਰਮ ਕਰਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਇਨਾ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਫੂਡ ਸਟੋਰੇਜ ਜਾਂ ਕੁਝ ਪਲਾਂਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੈਸਪੀਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਅਤੇ ਮਕੈਨੀਕਲ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਹੈ ਇਨ ਮੋਸਟ ਪਲਾਂਟਸ ਦਾ ਰੂਟ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਇਜ਼ ਐਨ ਅੰਡਰਗਰਾਊਂਡ ਸਟਰਕਚਰ ਵਿਚ ਐਂਕਰਸ ਦੀ ਪਲਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਸੋਇਲ ਇਟ ਆਲਸੋ ਟੇਕਸ ਅਪ ਵਾਟਰ ਐਂਡ ਮਿਨਰਲਸ ਰੂਟਸ ਮੇ ਬੀ ਲੈਸ ਫੈਮਿਲੀਅਰ ਥੈਨ ਦੀ ਮੋਰ ਵਿਜ਼ਿਬਲ ਫਲਾਵਰਸ ਸਟੈਮਸ ਐਂਡ ਲੀਵਸ ਬਟ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਆਫ ਨੋ ਲੈਸ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਸ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਪਲਾਂਟਸ So today we will talk about all those types of roots which perform something special. But first of all, let me share the learning objectives for today's lesson. On completion of this topic, learners will be able to discuss general features of a root, explain different regions of a root. describe the modifications of tap root describe the modifications of adventitious roots list the examples of each type of modified root list the functions of roots in a plant zyadatar paudiyan vich roots ਅੰਡਰਗਰਾਊਂਡ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਇਹ ਪਲਾਂਟ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਤੇ ਸਥਿਰ ਰੱਖਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਅਤੇ ਮਿੱਟੀ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਮਿਨਰਲਸ ਅਤੇ ਪਾਣੀ ਨੂੰ ਐਬਜ਼ੋਰਬ ਕਰਕੇ ਪੱਤੇ ਅਤੇ ਪੌਦੇ ਦੇ ਹੋਰ ਅੰਗ ਦੇ ਵਿਕਾਸ ਲਈ ਪੋਜਨ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਣੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਸਟੋਰ ਕਰਕੇ ਰੱਖਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਜਣਾ ਟਿਪੀਕਲੀ ਨਾਨ ਗ੍ਰੀਨ ਸਿਲਿੰਡ੍ਰਿਕਲ ਪਾਗ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਜੋ ਕਿ ਰੈਡੀਕਲ ਤੋਂ ਵਿਕਸਤ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਮਿੱਟੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਰਟੀਕਲੀ ਥਲੜੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਵੱਲ ਨੂੰ ਵਧਦੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਰੂਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਇਟਸ ਬ੍ਰਾਂਚਸ ਕੰਸਟੀਟਿਊਟ ਦੀ ਰੂਟ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਰੂਟਸ ਆਰ ਪੋਜ਼ਿਟਿਵਲੀ ਜੀਓਟ੍ਰੋਪਿਕ ਰੂਟਸ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਗਿਵ ਰਾਈਜ਼ ਟੂ ਲੈਟਰਲ ਬ੍ਰਾਂਚਸ ਵਿਚ ਅਲਟੀਮੇਟਲੀ ਹੈਲਪ ਇਨ ਐਂਕਰੇਜ ਆਫ ਪਲਾਂਟਸ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਸੋਇਲ ਥੀਸ ਰੂਟਸ ਕੰਸਿਸਟ ਆਫ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਪਾਰਟਸ ਆਰ ਰੀਜਨਸ ਸੋ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ let us study the different parts or regions of a typical root different regions of a root are root cap meristematic zone zone of elongation 
root hair zone zone of cell maturation at the tip of every growing root there is a conical covering of tissue called the root cap which consists of undifferentiated soft tissue parenchyma with unthickened walls covering the tender apical meristem as it makes its way through the soil zone of cell division behind the root cap there is a small region of active cell division it is also known as meristematic zone it represents the growing point zone of elongation this zone is situated just behind the meristematic growing apex where the cells lose their power of division and mainly elongate root hair zone this zone is characterized by elongation of epidermal cells forming unicellular root hairs it is about 1 to 6 cm in length water absorption mainly takes place in this region zone of cell maturation in this region the cells begin differentiation the cells of this region differentiate to form the cells of xylem phloem pericycle endodermis cortex and epiblema bachcho epidermal cells de utte kai unicellular root hairs maujood hunde han jo ki mitti de andar wal vadde han they greatly increase the absorptive surface of roots during the growth period when large amounts of water and nutrients are needed an individual root hair lives for only a day or two but new ones form constantly nearer the tip as old ones die in the upper part of the zone in some plants roots change their shape and structure they become modified to perform some special functions as you know the roots basically are of two types tap roots and adventitious roots so let us first discuss the modifications of tap roots tap root modifications tap root in some plants differ from others in their look and functioning they undergo various modifications to perform some special functions first let us see the roots which modify themselves to perform the function of food storage the tap root becomes swollen and fleshy to store food these fleshy tap roots are of following types depending upon their shape fusiform tap root here the food is stored in primary root as a result it starts getting a shape like this secondary roots remain thin and they are absorptive in function in this type the primary root is swollen in the middle and narrows toward both ends its base as well as apex this is known as fusy form this gives it the shape of a spindle as in radish which is raphanus sativus commonly known as mooly next shape is conical type conical tap root as you can see here carrot or gajar which is scientifically known as docus kerota the primary root becomes more swollen and broader at the base and gradually tapers towards the apex giving a shape of cone root hairs are present all over the swollen root next is a more stout shape this is known as nappy form 
napiform tap root the root stores more food in the middle part finer lateral roots appear from the apical part and they further bear root hairs as it is clear here the root is nearly globular or spherical in shape at the upper end but it suddenly tapers abruptly at the posterior end giving it a top shaped appearance tuberous tap root these are those thickened tap roots which do not assume any definite shape or form like the roots of this plant mirabilis jalapa commonly known as four o'clock plant hun tak assi fleshy tap roots bare discuss kar rahe si jithe pura root system ik navi shape lenda hai existing tap root system vich kuch hor modifications bhi hundiyan han jithe kuch special structures bande han aao hun nodulated roots bare discuss kariye nodulated roots nodulated roots are also known as tuberculated roots the roots of leguminous plants like pea or pisum sativum and peanut or ericus hypoxia soya bean or glycin max etc bear small nodule like swellings called root nodules These nodules are formed due to accumulation of millions of nitrogen fixing bacteria of genus Rhizobium. These bacteria fix free atmospheric nitrogen into organic compounds of nitrogen. The fixed nitrogen is absorbed by the plants and in return plant provides food and shelter to bacteria. students this is a very good and commonly found example of symbiotic relationship now let us know about the respiratory roots of plants these plants are basically found in the wetlands or in swamps these plants respire through their roots such as mangrove plants these are known as pneumatophores Let us explore more about these pneumatophores. Pneumatophores. These are horizontal cable roots which further develop upright aerial roots. These aerial branches are known as pneumatophores. These are the extra growths from slightly inclined or horizontal portion of the roots. If you see them carefully they bear small respiratory pores called lenticels for exchange of gases as shown in the visual Pneumatophores are found in Avicennia heritera commonly known as sundri Different functions nu perform karan layi tap roots modify hundiyan han एक होर तरह का रूट सिस्टम होंगे है एडवेंटिशियस रूट सिस्टम आओ हूँ इस टाइप के रूट सिस्टम दिया मॉडिफिकेशंस बारे डिस्कस करिए मॉडिफिकेशंस ऑफ एडवेंटिशियस रूट्स रूट्स डेवलपिंग फ्रॉम एनी अदर पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट एक्सेप्ट रेडिकल आर नोन एज एडवेंटिशियस रूट्स these roots also adapted themselves for some special functions like storage assimilation support etc let us first see roots modified for storage of food roots modified for storage of food these are adventitious roots of sweet potato called shakarkandi they are swollen due to storage of food these are single root tubers the tubers of sweet potato also bear adventitious buds and behave as reproductive roots 
fasciculated roots. This is another example where swollen roots occur in clusters. These types of roots are found in dahlia. In this type, the swollen, fleshy, tuberous root occurs in clusters at the base of the stem as shown here. Students, these were some common modifications of adventitious roots for storage of food. As discussed earlier, that adventitious roots are modified to perform several other functions also. So let us check some more modifications of adventitious root, that is, roots modified for mechanical support. Roots modified for mechanical support. Different types of roots modified for mechanical support are prop roots. As the name indicates, prop roots are the roots that act as a prop or support. Prop roots originate from horizontal branches of stems and grow vertically downward. They penetrate the soil and provide support as you see in this banyan tree, also called ficus bengalensis. The great banyan tree, which is about 200 years old and located in the Indian Botanical Garden of Hovra, is a perfect example of prop roots. Stilt roots. They are also known as brace roots. These are present in plants having delicate stem. In plants like maize and sugarcane, stilt roots appear in cluster from the basal portion of the stem, grow obliquely downward and penetrate into the soil to provide extra support to the plant. We can compare these roots with the ropes of a tent. Climbing roots. These are the adventitious roots which develop from stem and help in attaching the plant to the bark of tree or to other supporting material. For example, in ivy and piper beetle, the roots arise from the nodes of the stem and twine around the support as shown here. Students, a sub una root se bare with si, jo ki mechanical support lay modify hundia han. Aahun apna dhyan una modified roots wal kendrit kariye, jedia plants which hor vital functions perform kar dia han. A roots kai taradia hundia han. These types are epiphytic roots, parasitic roots, floating roots, and assimilatory roots. Let us discuss these one by one. Roots modified for vital functions. Different types of roots modified for vital functions are epiphytic roots. These roots develop in some orchids like Vanda. As shown here, these roots grow as epiphytes means plants living on other plants. They live upon the trunk or branches of other trees. We can see here that these hanging roots are thick and irregular having special sponge-like tissue called velamen for absorbing moisture. So velamen does the function of root hair as they absorb water from atmosphere, dew and rain. Parasitic roots. These roots are also known as hostorial roots. The roots of some parasitic plants penetrate down into the host tissue to absorb nourishment. As shown here, the parasitic roots of plants like cascuta, 
penetrate the host up to the xylem and phloem to absorb food, mineral and water. Cascata or amarbel is an example of plants having parasitic roots. Floating roots These are the spongy roots arising from the nodes of floating aquatic plants like Juicia or Ludwingia. Here, a number of roots arise from each node. Some of them store air, becomes inflated and project out of water. This way helping the plants in floating. Assimilatory roots These are green roots, so are known as photosynthetic roots. They arise from stem nodes and are green thread-like structure. They synthesize carbohydrates from carbon dioxide and water in the presence of light. Trappa water chestnut, commonly known as Singhara, has this type of roots. So, hun tak asi vak vak kisam diya roots bare discuss kita, jo ki vak vak functions perform kar diya han. They all are of different shapes and sizes and of course performing special functions for which they are modified. Let us now list the main functions performed by roots in a plant. Functions of the roots Anchorage Roots anchor the plant to the soil. Absorption Absorb water and mineral salts from the soil. Store food Functions as passage for water and dissolved substances. Roots form a passage for water and dissolved substances from the root into the stem and also for food from the stem down into the root. We have discussed a lot of things till now about the roots. Now let us just summarize what we have learned so far. Root is typically a non-green cylindrical part which develops from the radical and grows vertically down into the soil. Roots basically give rise to lateral branches which ultimately help in anchorage of plants to the soil. These roots consist of different parts or regions. These regions are root cap, meristematic zone, zone of elongation, root hair zone and zone of cell maturation. Roots in some plants change their shape and structure and become modified to perform some special functions. Storage tab roots are the roots modified for storage of food. Here the food is stored in primary root and as a result it gets swollen. Conical form is present in carrot. Here, the swollen root is broad at the base and gradually tapers towards the apex, giving the shape of a cone. In fusiform form, root is swollen in the middle and narrows toward both its base and apex, imparting it the shape of a spindle. In nappy form, the root is nearly globular or spherical in shape at the upper end but it suddenly tapers abruptly at the posterior end giving it a top like appearance. The roots having no definite shape are called tuberous roots, for example sweet potato. Nodulated roots are also known as tuberculated roots. The roots of Pisum sativum bears nodule-like swellings called root nodules. 
These nodules contain nitrogen fixing bacteria like Rhizobium leguminoserum, which fix free atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia and process is known as nitrogen fixation. Pneumatophores, also known as respiratory roots, are found in plants growing in mangroves or saline swamps near the seashore. Pneumatophores bear small respiratory pores called lenticels for exchange of gases. In fasciculated roots, the swollen fleshy tuberous root occurs in clusters at the base of the stem as in dahlia. Roots modified for mechanical support are prop roots. Prop roots originate from horizontal branches of stems, grow vertically downward and penetrate the soil. The great banyan tree which is over 200 years old and located in the Indian Botanical Garden, Havra, is a perfect example of prop roots. So students, with this we conclude our today's topic. Let us quickly check with some short questions what you have learnt today. Here are some questions. The first question is, list the different regions of a root. The answer is, different regions of a root are root cap, meristematic zone, zone of elongation, root hair zone, and zone of cell maturation. My next question is, what is zone of elongation? Answer, this zone is situated just behind the meristematic growing apex where the cells lose their power of division and mainly elongates. Next question, what is root hair zone? Answer, this zone is characterized by elongation of epidermal cells forming unicellular root hairs. It is about 1 to 6 centimeters in length. Water absorption takes place through this region. My next question is, give an example of fusiform type of modified tap root. Answer, radish or mooli is an example of fusiform type of modified tap root. Next question. What type of modification of root is found in the banyan tree? Answer. Prop root is the type of root modification found in the banyan tree. The next question is, which type of root possesses the spongy tissue velamen? The answer is, epiphytic roots possesses the spongy tissue velamen. The next question is, what type of modification of tap root is found in turnip? The answer is, napiform fleshy tap root modification is found in turnip. My next question is, give an example of tuberous roots of modified tap roots. Answer, mirabilis jalapa. 4 o'clock is a common example. The next question is, give an example of a plant which has climbing root. Answer, piper beetle has climbing roots. The next question is, in maize, which type of roots arises from nodes to provide support to the plant? Answer is, Stilt roots are the type of roots which arises from nodes to provide support to the plant. My next question is, name the respiratory pores present in pneumatophores for exchange of gases. The answer is, lenticels are present in pneumatophores for exchange of gases. The next question is, 
which genus of bacteria lives in the nodulated roots of leguminous plants? The answer is rhizobium lives in the nodulated roots of the leguminous plants. The next question is write the botanical name of banyan tree. Answer Ficus bengalensis is the botanical name of banyan tree. My next question is name the plant in which adventitious roots develop chlorophyll and perform photosynthesis. The answer is Trepa singhara develop green roots capable of photosynthesis. Hope I have made a successful attempt to clear the concepts regarding modifications of roots. Thanks for your cooperation and attention. Looking forward to the next class. See you then. Goodbye.